So I used to get myself all revved up with thinking that I had to really push myself to do artwork, particularly artwork every day. And something has changed where I just don't feel that way anymore. I feel like artwork, creating in general, is something we can do with joy and fun and ease, like kids do. We can get inspired by whatever is coming up for us in the moment and move forward with that. And that makes such a deal out of I'm doing my art practice. Like I have to go do this thing because if I don't make an effort towards this, basically force myself to get in there and do this art, it's just not gonna happen. And I understand that way of thinking because that's the way I used to think about my art. I used to be very caught up in this idea that I really didn't wanna be doing it or there's no creativity, I'm not inspired. And what I've found to be true is that creativity and inspiration is a natural way of being. It is our resting state. It is our innate state. It's what is there when we stop trying so hard. You can liken it to the way kids are. They're not trying to be creative. They're just creative. So today I'm going to paint a camel. tell you guys the truth, I lost my first attempt at this and I'm halfway through the camel. So I'm going to continue with painting on this and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to turn on my camera. Okay, got it on. I'm going to show you what I got going here. There's the camel so far, my palette. I did decide to work with blue today, as you can see. And this just happened because one, I love blue, but then I love all colors. And, you know, I was looking through Pinterest earlier and I saw several different images of camels and some horses and stuff. And the camel just kind of stood out for me to do. So anyway, I've got this foundation of the camel. I've got, I painted around the shape and now I'm going to start adding some more stuff to it. So back to this idea of creating with ease. I'm kind of liking the shape I've got here. You know, I'm, I'm happy with this so far. And at this point, I can have a lot of thoughts around, oh my gosh, I don't want to ruin it. If I add stuff to it, it could go to heck and I don't want to lose what I've got already, right? So that's one of those things that it can go through my head and I don't have to give it any energy. Again, it's, I recognize it and fine and I'm just gonna go ahead anyway. I've got an idea about how I wanna go with this. I may or may not stick to that idea because we never know what's gonna happen in the moment. I decided I was going to stay monochromatic for the most part on this and use blue, black, and white. The white shape being the negative space of the camel. This is the paper right here. And I painted around it, like I said. I always like to do things that have friendships going on or some sort of situation where there are two animals connecting with each other or a flower and an animal, something where it's not just a lonely animal. So I got my pen. So this is a sleepy camel. And it's happy camel, but a sleepy camel. And this camel has got a fancy blanket. This really is a very odd camel. And that's what I love about it. We can really try to copy something so it looks just like the item that we're trying to represent. But for me, there's a lot more excitement in making quirky shapes and then playing with the shape once I've got it. So I've got this camel and I'm gonna, I've got a blanket on it, which for me signifies somebody's gonna be riding. But before I get to that, I'm gonna make a few details on this blanket here. Speeding up the camera. You can rest assured with all these videos I do that I'm doing a lot of speeding up on the camera because we all know how exciting it is to watch paint dry. Now, I have an idea that this camel is going to be wearing boots. You can never go wrong with boots. I'm 
the reason that I lost my first videos I was using too many electrical items, which included my trusty hair dryer. Getting a little bit of details on these, this blanket thing. I'm going to cheat and put another color in here because I really want to see just a little pop of pink on that cheek. And, and that's good. Maybe some socks. Because socks are silly. Not near as serious as boots. So I'm going along here and I'm not trying really hard. I'm just playing around. It may or may not work out. That's not the point. The point is to just play around, have fun, see what happens. And so I'm going to keep going here. You see that I switched pens? Very tricky. So this is looking kind of cute, which is always fun. This seems to be a night riding camel. So here's a good example of me going along and not liking where it's going, but not caring. And who knows why those thoughts come up that say, you didn't do that right. They just do. We just don't have to pay attention to them. They really are arbitrary and don't mean anything. And we don't have to make anything out of them. If you get anything from these videos I do, that would be a biggie. There's basically two biggies to this. One is your thinking is fleeting and doesn't mean anything about who you are. You are this creative being. This is the natural you when all this thinking kind of slows down or basically stop paying attention to it and then your natural creativity comes forward because you're no longer tied up in energy around these thoughts that you're having that you think you need to do something with so that's the big message here and to have fun so this is my video on creating with ease if you've enjoyed this video you can give it a like and i'd love it if you subscribe to this channel so anything that comes up for you around this video that you have a question about or just want to comment on i'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments below you can also subscribe to my email and i send those out approximately once a week they will link to my latest video and i also do a monthly art print giveaway i look forward to seeing you again soon and have a great day